everyone, my name is Jinex and today I'm going to show you how to do some shadowing. This is a continuation off the video of how to start a project. So for this video, I'm using a different background. The, in the previous video, I used a darker background. That one wouldn't have loud shadowing, whereas this one's much more lighter. You can see the ground, and so this one is actually going to require shadowing. So to get started, we're going to go to File, we're going to open his layers, and we're going to grab our screeny. I need to resize her. Get that out of the way. Scale. Ah, oh, shit, didn't do it for me, you bastard. Fine. There. So there we go. From there, I need a sharpener. And I'm only going to sharpen her at 20. So after that, we're going to start the shadowing process. Now, there's three different ways you can do shadowing. First and foremost, I'm going to show you the first way. First, hit Control L. And we're going to go to Duplicate Layer. From there, we are going to, on this bottom layer, we're going to hit this eye which hides that layer. And we're just only going to see the top layer. From there, we're going to go to Colors. And we're going to go to Colorize. And then we're going to drop the lighting down to the darkest setting. And it's going to turn it black. From there, I'm going to close out this little, the layer box real quick. We are going to hit this tool, which is the perspective tool. This allows you to move your shadow as you so desire need to be for where the lighting is hitting. Now, because the sun is coming from this way, that means the shadow needs to be pointed forward. So that means her shadow would be flipped horizontal, which I've got to fix that. So to fix that part, you need to go to right click on this, go to layer. And we're going to go to transform, and we're going to flip it vertically, which will turn the shadow upside down. From there, we're now we're going to do the perspective part. Now, this process takes some time and experimenting, some serious experimenting, to get right. So, I'm going to have her about like that. It's not perfect. But this is just a brief rundown. Whoopsie now I need to make sure the shadow is underneath her and I need to downsize her some more to make this look right. So now we're going to do like 500 by 500 and yeah, that's about right and then we're going to drag this down just a bit more right now I mean I'm seriously it does not look right but it's a start. So there once we get that done, we're now we're going to blur it and make it look like an actual shadow. Now, for shadows, I go with level 18 blur. It gives it a little more realism. And then I mess with the opacity. In this case, because it's so dark, it's going to look like that. Or because we're in shadowing, it may not show up, barely show up at all. Another way to do the standing, sh standing shadows is this. We go to Tools. May tools. We go to filter, we go to light and shadow, and we go to perspective shadow. Now what this does is that this means is that it's going to copy your, um, first off, let me fix this. Make sure it's that one. Make sure you clicked on your model layer. Click back here, perspective. And what this does is that it's going to duplicate this layer. It's going to turn it black. And then it's also going to angle it. And I'll show you what I mean. So, right now it's at 45 degree angle. This is what it's going to do. It's already going to... It's already going to angle it. It's already going to color it black. It's going to mess with the opacity. And you can mess with the opacity some more. And then you can also mess with how the blur is in that same option. But if you forgot to do that, then all you have to do is go to blur. Dazation blur. And that and that's how you get that shadowing now you can when you when you do that you can also just like I said the perspective shadow you can jimmy with it and you can make it how you need to so let's say let's go with the level 90 oh sh she talked to James of course I'm doing this wrong light and shadow go back here perspective thank you and this is where what level 90 is at, standing straight. And that's how that one's going to look. Okay, I'm good on time. Okay, the next set of shadowing 
This is for sitting. And or standing. It can be either. And I'll show you how to do that. Now, what we're going to do first is that. CHRL. I'm going to use this layer. No, I'm not. First off, I'm going to duplicate in my background. And I'll, you'll, you'll see one in a moment. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this circular piece. I'm going to drag it across. And I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to make it about as big as the dress. How it flares out. So then I'm going to make it about that big. And we're going to paint it black. So one second, I got to get this sized. Just right. Okay. So once that's done, I'm going to pick my paintbrush. And shit, I forgot to change it back. Okay, so one second. There we go. So now we just paint this black. What we do from there after is that we're gonna right click in with the black area and we're gonna click go right click this thing is gonna pop up you're gonna go to edit and you're going to click cut from there we're gonna go click control L again we're gonna bring up our layers we're gonna delete this layer and then I need to cancel that out and you can do that by clicking one of these tools and just clicking outside that uh, that circular box and you can just do that from there we're going to go to right click on the background we're going to click edit and we're going to paste as new layer which is then going to bring down this black circle from there we're going to put it underneath your model and if you need to you can fix the layers by doing this Just reorganizing your layers. Now, if, you, if it won't let you drag and move around the layers with your mouse, then these green arrows right here will allow you to move the layer up and down. Now, let's see how much time I have. Okay, so from there, we're going to go to filters, we're going to go to blur, and we're going to go to Gazation Blur. And this one may require a little bit more shadowing, so I'm going to up 30. And. There is your just stand, regular standing um, or for sitting uh, black shadow. And let's see here. And that, I think that's it. Make sure that quick, really quick. Yeah. And there is your basics on how to shadow. For any questions or comments that or rather concerns that you have, please leave a comment in the video or message me on 9 Hope this tutorial is helpful and have a wonderful day.